In the last video, we used a time unit to measure distance. So we said that one light second, usually just said as one second, one second of distance is the distance that light travels in one second, 300 million meters. This business of using a time measurement for a distance comes up in other contexts too. For example, where I live in Maine, if you ask somebody how far it is to Boston, they'll probably answer five hours. So how far is it? That usually means uh, we're thinking of a distance, but the answer to that question is expressed as a time, five hours. And of course, what that means is it takes five hours of driving, five car hours um, in order to get to Boston. So Boston's around 300 miles, um, 500 kilometers. So if car speed is about 60 miles per hour, five hours at 60 miles per hour gets you roughly to Boston. So again, we're using um, a time measurement, five hours for a distance. Let me think of this just a, or, or talk about this in a slightly different way. So another way to think about car speed and, and distance is like, let's say you're going at car speed, 60 miles an hour. And what that means is then you would travel an hour of distance every hour. So one car hour of distance every hour. If you're traveling at light speed, you would travel one second or one light second of distance every second. If you're at half car speed, because you're in a really slow car, you're going at 30 miles an hour, then you cover only half an hour of distance in every hour of time that you go. So where this is headed is to think about how we would measure velocity or speed in special relativity. So the last video we talked about how to measure distance in terms of time now we're going to think about um, velocity. So let me illustrate this with an example. So suppose a certain signal travels 22,000 kilometers in four seconds. And just a quick backstory on where this example is from. In, let's see, 2011-12, I spent the year as a U.S. Fulbright lecturer in Kigali, Rwanda. And I had a little apartment with a balcony, and crickets would chirp outside that at night. And sometimes I would Skype back home, and the, the crickets are really loud. And so I could hear a cricket on my um, balcony, and that cricket signal would go all the way back to Maine in the US, and then come all the way back to me and sort of hear that echo. And it took about four seconds, I timed it, for the cricket sound to go from me to Maine, back to Kigali, Rwanda, and that's roughly 22,000 kilometers, at least as the crow flies. In reality, I'm sure the internet wires are different, um, a different length, but for the sake of argument, let's say it's this. So let's figure out what this um, speed is, and I'm going to do this in, in two different units. Okay, 22,000 kilometers, let's convert that to meters per second, or, or let's convert kilometers to, to meters. So 22,000 kilometers, and they're 1,000 meters in one kilometer. That's my conversion factor. Um, let's see, this is going to be a big number. I better use scientific notation. Um, so this would be, well, let's see, I'll do it this way. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2.2 2 times 10 to the 4, 10, uh, 1,000 is that. So I think this is going to be 2.2 2 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. So that's pretty fast. What I want to do now is express this as a fraction of the speed of light. So recall that the speed of light abbreviated C is about 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. 
So then I'm going to say that the signal speed is 2.2 times 10 to the 7 meters per second over 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So let me do that out and then I'll talk about what it means. 2.2 E7 divided by 3 E8 is 0 0.0 Seven, three. Okay, so notice that um, this way of expressing the speed, I end up with a unitless number. Because what I'm doing is I'm saying how fast the signal is expressed as a fraction of the speed of light. So what this means is, is that this, this signal is traveling at 7.3% the speed of light. Um, another way to say this is in every second of time, this signal would travel only 0 0.073 light seconds. The speed of light, on the other hand, in these units, let me do this here, light speed, in this way of thinking of things, it's the speed of light divided by the speed of light. Which is one. Again, no units. So light travels one light second every time second, or one second per second. This other signal travels only 0 0.073 light seconds every second. So this is often how we'll measure um, velocity in special relativity. We'll measure uh, velocities as a fraction of the speed of light.